All right, now here in the 3.30, uh, we are sitting down with the DEA special agent in charge of the Los Angeles Field Division. Bill Bodner is joining us now to talk about some ongoing cases. Good to see you. Good to First see you. First time on KTLA? Absolutely. Awesome. So you've been with um, this department for a long time, but just eight months ago, now you're uh, in charge of, there's 300 agents, right, within this division? Yeah, that's correct. So I've been with DEA 28 years mm -hmm. and recently took over as a special agent in charge. We have 300 agents. We cover a wide area. That covers the state of Nevada, the state of Hawaii, Guam, Saipan, and the seven counties that we call the greater Los Angeles area. Oh Most of our agents are here in the seven counties mm -hmm. of greater L.A. That's a, that's a big area. I mean, Southern California alone is enough to tackle. Absolutely. Okay, uh, so you're saying right now you're seeing a big resurgence in, in, uh, in meth. Methamphetamine. Uh, Listen, the drug cartels used to make a lot of profit from marijuana. Mm -hmm. And now with legalization in 30 states around the United States, they've had to switch up what they're doing. They're not just going to settle for making less money. What they've done is they've turned to synthetic drugs, methamphetamine and fentanyl. Uh, they get the chemicals from China. They're able to make methamphetamine in these super labs in Mexico. And they're shipping it up here at quantities we, we've not seen in the past. So with the methamphetamines, obviously that's highly addictive, um, and it's because of the dopamine hit, right? That's correct. It's, it, it's super fast acting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, one dose can keep you high for 24 hours, maybe even 48 hours, depending on your use, your usage history. Uh, it, it's quick acting, a lot of dopamine release, and that's what makes it highly addictive. Yeah, you would think with uh, with all the stories you see on the news that people would stay away from it, but it's not happening. It's not happening, and the, the problem is there's such powerful drugs, these synthetics, both mm -hmm. fentanyl and methamphetamine, that it's much easier for people to get hooked. And I think we're seeing that when we look at the streets of L.A. right now. So is there any concern? I mean, a lot of these are counterfeit prescription drugs, right? So you can get them on the streets or somewhere, but there's no worries about, like, if we need to take some type of medication that any of this is going to get mixed in. No, so that's a very important point for, mm -hmm. for the viewers to focus on. These are not counterfeit drugs that we're seeing in pharmacies or dispensed by doctors. These are counterfeit drugs. They look identical to prescription pills, but they're being manufactured in illicit labs in Mexico. They're crossing the border just like we see cocaine and methamphetamine crossing the border, and they're being sold on the street here in L.A. They look identical, so people can't necessarily tell the difference, and they think they're getting a safe prescription drug. They're not. I promise you they're not. Has anything changed? I mean, one of the big issues, a political issue, is, of course, the border wall, the border fence being rebuilt or built in areas where there wasn't any at all. Are they still bringing them up through that border, or are they finding other ways now? No, primarily through our southwest border, and that's why here in Southern California we get hit hard. Uh, this is the major, at Los Angeles is the major transship, transshipment point for at least two of the big drug cartels in Mexico. And they're going to cross the border at the point of least resistance. So if we do a lot of security at the port, uh, you know, the drive-through port I'm speaking of, they're going to go around, they'll find, they'll go east or west and go around it. Uh, it has to be comprehensive security. Anything we can do to secure the border is going to help our drug problem here in L.A. So you're talking about uh, these uh, drugs obviously coming up and this is like a big deal and they're on the street. Does your division work with dealing with drug dealers that are just on the corner of like neighborhoods? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, a big part of this job for me is, is impacting the community, uh, making the community safer for our residents of LA to live in. I've lived here for 28 years. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like seeing what's happening to the streets of LA right now. And I feel like we can help do something about it. Uh, the drug cartels have a hand in the homeless problem here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. they're, they're exploiting the homeless. They're victimizing the homeless. There's a lot of drugs going into those areas and that is definitely not helping the problem. Yeah, it's big as a, it's a drug problem as much as anything else. Absolutely. It's a homeless situation. Absolutely. Well, Bill, thanks for coming in and giving us some of your insight. Uh, you certainly got a monumental task. Ahead. Yes, you do. All right. Thank, thank, you. thank you so All much. Right. We appreciate it.